Your name change is confusing everyone. Oh, this is Peter Park. Hello, Peter. I am sorry you had to find out this way. I am the real Peter. Peter Parker. Wait, it's actually really funny. You guys know the streamer Peter Park TV? His username is Peter Park hashtag Pog, and I'm Peter Pog. <laughs> you said your name change is confusing everyone. Oh, I didn't do that on purpose. I just like the name Peter Pog. It's like alliteration. Why are you Peter Pog? You ever heard of Peter Pan? Peter Pan, but like Pog. Oh, Danny. This is no challenge. I never compromise. Damn it. Didn't get units. I feel like I can play for a win streak. Oh, true tears. I'm actually down to try trade sector. A little outlier TV. Oh yeah, wow. I can't believe I hit so many upgrades, it's pretty lucky. Um... Okay. Down to sell underground, buy out everything else. Uh, I need a Camille for a Renegade. We're just gonna play like, random flex stuff. And try to make it work with a bunch of two stars. I like Trade Sector, it's very interesting, because you don't actually have to use it to reroll a comp. Like, I, I have five Renekton's, so maybe I go for Renekton 3, but... Uh, you could just like level and use it as a way to keep two stars, right? It's basically an augment that says you're twice as likely to natural two stars. Wait, is there a such thing as renegade reroll? I've never played it, but look at what I have. I have five talons. Okay, I've never played Renegades myself, but down to give it a try. Down to stay low level and see if I can natural this Talon 3. Uh, I don't think we're playing Renekton's. Hello, Vojaker. I can also just hit Talon 3 and move on. We'll see. Oh, admin. Oh, every five seconds your team gains seven permanent maximum health. I think it's so good. I'm down. Okay, I'm gonna give up on supers. Okay, so what are the best talent items? Probably just same as Viego. Just AP. Might be done for Hodge. Does that admin work outside of combat? No, but it'd be very funny if it did. I could see how like the wording might make you think it does that. All right, I'm not a fan of Talon, but the game gave me five of them really early. Let's see if we can make it work. The one bad thing about Trade Sector is that you have almost zero econ. So you almost like need to win streak, which I already failed because I faced a high level player. I didn't want to level because I want to try to hit Talon three, but then I ended up griefing my own win streak. Oh, if I get one of those spats, it's lit. That is an Oxforce Camille. Or six Renegade. Uh, I feel like to get a three-star Talon and then hit a Leona is really hard. Whereas if I got Oxforce, it's like really easily splashable. Okay, so don't need these guys. 
Don't need you. Metal is harder than lead. Okay, I think I'm just chilling. We're gonna reroll for three star Silas, three star Talon, three star Blitz, three star Camille. Is there anyone else I want to pick up along the way? Is Riven good this set? Uh, I think she's okay. She's just a frontline. She's like a splashable frontline. I don't think she's particularly interesting though. Like, I think her design's really weird. I, I wish that Riven would do something cooler. Like knowing what she can do in League, it's really boring for her to just be a tank that shields herself without moving. You know what I'm saying? Oh, maybe we pick up Vi. Vi stands for vicious. I'm pretty sure playing Vi, Alistar, Annie is really good. But that'd be like a level 7 board, where it's like these four plus Vi, Alistar, Annie. Or I could sell them all right now for Econ. I'm pretty sure I'm selling them all right now. What are your thoughts on Yasuo? You think he's broken for a two cost unit? I think Yasuo is definitely pretty weak. <laughs> he's definitely not a very good unit. I think he's like okay at best. His tornado is very unreliable. He doesn't do that much damage compared to a lot of other two costs. This is no challenge. I will not die in honor. I'm probably gonna roll it down until Talon 3. Do you think Zed is overtuned? Uh, maybe. I see Zed. I see like three Zed players every game. Maybe it's like too flexible and splashable. Uh, I need a chain vest here. Oh. Uh. Don't need Samira. Man, if, imagine if that was Viego. If that was Viego, that'd be crazy. Okay, I'm gonna roll until I hit at least Talon 3. Should be like just a few more rolls. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna... Come on. What the heck? Okay. Their bones will wet my blade. Dude, imagine if I was at six talons and I got that shop. Okay, I'm gonna sell these and chill. Actually, I'll keep it. Gain an Annie when you feel that your team gains 15 ability power. That's pretty good, actually, because I will be playing Annie. Hmm. Is anyone contesting Camille? I'm actually down to give this a run try. It was the LeBlanc one. No, I can't fit LeBlanc onto my team. Maybe if you get rid of Blitzcrank. But like, I know the idea of cloning a Talon 3 is lucrative, but I don't think it was worth um, giving up a 3-star, eventually a 3-star Blitzcrank. It sucks that my items are so bad. These items are so terrible. I have, I have four components, no slammable items. What are the good talent items? Uh, I would assume it's same as Viego items. Edge of Night, BT, Death Cap, Titans. Dragon's breath it is. And it's rough. I might be trolling. Like part of me thinks that I should have taken the Annie support augment. I should have gotten Ox Force spat on Camille, and then I just like play a really strong game of Ox Force. But another part of me is thinking like, dude, Camille carry is actually really strong and I'm uncontested. The problem is I only have three Camilles. Jinx 3 is the only answer. Ah, uh, if only Jinx were a good unit this set. She's like a carry, 
but she is subpar. She's weaker than all the other carries. Oh, nice job, Talon. She's a two-cost carry that is just weaker than all the other like re-rollable units. So you just like splash her in for random synergies. She feels really bad. How's the set so far? It's pretty good. I think they did a good job with this one. Okay, one Ox Force on each side. Carries in the middle. It's Box Force Pog. Yeah, it is quite Box Force. This guy's rolling a lot of two costs. That makes my Camille a little bit easier to hit. Uh, yeah, actually, a lot of two costs out of the game that aren't Camille. So I'm down. This will be interesting. Talon, Camille, carry with Ox Force Spat. Is Camille 3 better than Diego 2? Uh, without the Hero Augment, I don't know. With the Hero Augment, Camille is definitely better. But Diego 2 is pretty crazy. I mean, these are these are free rerolls, but man, am I not hitting? Let's go. Let's go Talon. What is this Camille augment? Gain a Camille, she gains 35% attack damage. First time she drops below 50% health, she gains a shield. Equal to 600% of her attack damage. What is 600% of her attack damage? What is 6 times 132? Anyone know? 780. Okay, also, remember this admin is scaling up my entire team for the entire game. Like, my Talon probably has an extra, like, million HP. No, not a million. But quite a lot. Uh, I'm probably rolling down to 50 here. Am I ever playing LeBlanc? I don't think so. Is Blue Buff good on any of these units? I'm not gonna take this Vi. What does the admin do? It gives permanent max HP to my entire team over time. It's kind of crazy. I don't think I'm taking this Vi. I was thinking like, oh yeah, getting a three-star Vi sounds nice, but I'm down to get to take this Vi. Renegade Crest. Does Blue Buff stack with Blue Battery? Anyone know? It does stack? Okay, I'm just gonna do it then. Okay, just looking for duplicates and Viego. Oh. Have to sell the styluses. Okay, I gave Blue Buff to Talon, just so that I could leave the last item. Camille, I think, should get like a BT or something. No, dude! I was actually so close to winning that. Do you want 4 admin for potential admin, uh, HP scaling? Uh, kinda- oh my god. It was in my next shop. Kinda, but I didn't have the bench space to hold it. 
Okay. I have to stay six for a little bit. Gotta hit my two star Alistar, three star Blitz if I'm lucky. Talon's at 2224 two, two, HP. Oh, he's gained 300 health already. That's kind of crazy. If you remove the admin, does the HP stack get removed as well? Yes, it does, unfortunately. That's fine. I can replace Blitzcrank eventually with maybe LeBlanc and then you go Hacker. I don't know. Okay, kind of an interesting build. Oh, there's a lot of rerollers, so I should be more likely than normal to hit Camille. Oh, speaking of Camille, what the hell? I should just roll to zero now. Okay, I'm down to roll down to 30, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit. Pretty sure we're going to hit. Nice! What? Know your place. Bro. That was insane. I just got three Camilles and like 10 gold. But yeah, because like all the mascots are out of the pool, there's two people re-rolling it. So many two costs are gone. My odds hitting Camille were just way higher than normal. I, I wouldn't expect it to hit that fast, but I was pretty sure we were more likely to hit the no uh, by a lot, by like 30%. This guy just forfeited. Wait, thank you. Holy shit. He took the two costs out of the pool and then he forfeited. Thank you. Thank you. He waited for me to hit, and then he forfeited, putting all the two costs back into the pool to everyone else off. I wonder if I gain admin HP while I'm waiting. Holy shit! It might be too late to go for this three-star Vi. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm in a good enough spot to go for it. I think I'm in a good enough spot to go for it. Ooh, the Sivir works for Riot Games. You see this? <laughs> Wait, AP Sivir. Interesting. She's gonna heal? Oh, she's dead. The three-star Vi is a bait. I mean, it's Brawler and Aegis. Oh, wait. I lose. Really? I lose. Oh wait, overtime, Ox Force. Overtime, Ox Force. Let's go! Ox Force is so broken in overtime because that one second of overtime damage is so in intense. Okay, I think, I don't think I'm gonna sit around and wait for the Vi. Another Ox Force Spat! I got a second Ox Force Spat and an IE! Maybe even a Hodge or a Death Blade? I got a Hodge and Death Blade! I think I choose the Death Blade. Pretty sure it's Death Blade Camille. Oh, I'm just gonna roll for it. I'm gonna hit it like in like three rolls. One, two, three. I'll hit it, I'll hit it, I'll hit it, don't worry. Uh, surely I'll get it! I, I needed to level up just to put in the synergies. Okay, the best thing I could possibly get here... Wait, did I lose this? Overtime Annie? That was extremely close. The best augment I could possibly get here is Celestial... Wait, there's no augment. <laughs> it's 5-1. Right. Right, forgot about that part. A little smash and grab. OK, 
Okay, put Vi and uh, Camille together for armor shred. Wait, first time playing Camille and it goes this well? Are you kidding me? I need a Viego. Oh, Viego could go in straight over um uh, the ugly green guy. Silas. And then I just get six Ox Force. Can I get a V in the chat? One Viego, this game is over. Check us out. I'm gonna cast Viego no Jutsu. <clears throat> Fiora no Jutsu. It's so funny that we're playing Blitzcrank at this point, but he's given us so much HP. Like, Talon's at 3, 2, 3, 4, 3 HP. Which is a 400 health increase. Oh, what the hell? My Camille's a gentleman. She just, like, stepped backwards to let the fiddlesticks in. Wow, let's go, Talon! Kill the Samira, baby! My Talon's still alive. Oh, it's because blue, ba blue battery plus blue buff makes him cast so often. Wow, Camille's just wailing on him. Let's go! Let's go, team! <laughs> Alright, just gotta get that Viego, Aphelios, eventually. Uh, let's get a Talon item here. I wanted life steal, but this will do. Sucks that there was no way I could give him healing, but I, I really shouldn't complain. I'm high rolling out of my mind. Alright. Viego no Jutsu. Damn, alright, let's play Fiora for now. Uh, I wonder how you're supposed to position this. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if the correct position was something like, boom, so we'll frontline the Annie because she's so tanky. But I also feel like I have so many individually tanky units that I can probably get away with this. And then I, that way I can just like put my Vi and uh, Camille together. Oh, what the? Would Hacker Emblem be OP here? Uh, I'd still have to run a LeBlanc. Oh, I guess Hacker is a way to give him Omni Vamp, huh? This Nunu is so fast! Catch that guy! Oh, nice stun. Camille's just running around trying to chase him. Wait. He's... He's thrilling! He's thrill of the hunting! Okay, whew. What the hell was that Nunu? That guy was popping off. He was just rolling over my team. Bulldozing. Healing up with thrill. That's Zoomy's Nunu for ya. Prepare to die. Oh yeah, you know what it could have been? It could have been Hacker Talon. And then I put in LeBlanc over Blitzcrank to keep admin. Oh, and then I could Hacker my Camille in. Holy shit. Oh, I can actually go 8 Ox Force. Okay. This swap around doesn't really do much, but if he somehow planned for one of my, uh, my, my orientation, then this, like, cancels that out. That should be fine. My Camille can just sit in the middle and attack with Hurricane Deathblade. Wow, it's actually just too powerful. Holy crap. Insane game. Is it worth losing Brawler? It's giving so much HP. Brawler gives HP to only the Brawlers. So, it gives HP to Vi and Blitzcrank, which might not be worth it. I think what matters is HP on my carries. Yo! I think Viego doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think this unit doesn't exist. Oh, you want to see a really funny small optimization? If I pull all my damage back, I extend the fight by a little bit, and my whole team gains a little bit more permanent max HP. You see that? I make it. My, my talent can't get in the game. Who's the eighth? Uh, it's Viego Aphelios for eight. Uh, this item should just go on Vi or Annie. 
Oh, redemption is huge. Holy shit. Whenever you have like a bunch of melee units all clumped up together, redemption's like highest value item. Especially if they already have three items. It's just a way to make them even stronger. It's like three and a half items. Here's Viego. All right, now it's just an Aphelios waiting room. Oh, hello, Coach Wang. How's the climb today? Uh, very bad. But it's about to be very good, because I just don't see any way my three-star Camille can lose. Her legs are so... sharp. Oh, Emily Wang, are you coming to watch my boxing fight tomorrow? I was told that you were coming. Although I heard you got six, so maybe not. 15% chance of winning. Uh-oh. Wait, this fiddlesticks. Oh, this guy has a massive underground cash out. Oh, Frank. This guy has an insane underground cash out. His fiddlesticks just own me. Look at this fiddlesticks' items. Wait, I can't beat that. Oh my god, this guy probably got like a six underground cash out. Oh my god, I natural Philios. If only I could level right now. I could remove Blitzkrank for one round, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, I should play the Phyllis over Fiora. Oh my god, it's the Zoomies Nunu, dude. <laughs> this damn Zoomies Nunu is so fast. I can't catch him. Wait, he's actually gonna roll all over me. guy die the underground guy what the heck oh oh he got hacker man okay I'm gonna just level oh my god oh I swapped into the hacker man's Oh wait, what? I think it hacked. Wait, I crushed him. It's a shame it was his ghost. Alright, this Aphelos should be a big deal. It's a lot of AoE stuns. He's smart. He'll naturally find the, the largest clump. Dude, this Zoomies Nunu is so funny. What does Spat plus Glove make? Is that Renegade? It is Renegade. I don't think it was worth it though. Alright, just do this. Makes my Camille a lot stronger. I have an interesting idea of where, where to position my units. Check us out. Boom, boom, boom. Frontline of Philios to dodge the hacker man. And then this guy clumped around his Janna. So my Philios just stuns the whole board and applies Last Whisper. Boom, he's dead. I just Last Whispered the whole team and stunned the whole team. You don't get to play the game. Okay, this is my ghost. Let's see if my... I can't catch this goddamn Nunu! Sit the f*** down!
Take out the Blitz. No, if you take him out, your whole team loses HP. Like 600 HP. Alright, come on, Aphelios. Make me proud. Aphelios plus Camille. Just, the Aphelios has to stay alive. He's the only one who can stun the Nunu, preventing him from moving. You hear that, Aphelios? You have to stay alive. You have to stay alive. He's rolling over you. The Nunu's too smart. He took out the only CC. No! Everybody get him! Hurry! Don't let him roll over you! Don't let him heal! No! He's healing! Finish him! Lock him! No! Just catch him! This is really funny and also equally frustrating. How do I... How do I catch this guy? Yeah, maybe a Leona too. Also, I gotta hit Aphelios too. Maybe it, oh, a survival item on Aphelios. Okay, I'm not kidding. War Mogs on Aphelios. I can't let him die. And I gotta two-star him. Perfect gold. Oh, and a glove on Vi! Yes! Let's do this! Aphelios, you have a War Mogs. Survive longer so you can lock the Nunu down. It's the only way. Yes! He can survive the snowball. Every time he locks him down, Nunu loses so much health. Finish him! Quickly lock him down! Not even close this time! We finally pinned him down! What a wild game. What a weird final boss. Forcing me to play Tank Aphelios just to stun the guy. <laughs> Alistar also stunned him, I forgot about that guy. Insanely unique game for sure. First time playing Renegades, first time playing Camille, and it just worked out that well. Alright, diamond today.